we're gonna start the tuning. Uh, super excited about this. First, I want to give a shout out to some friends, uh, namely a gentleman named Steve in Wisconsin. He was very helpful and instrumental in helping me dial in a safe tune to start uh, tuning this uh, machine. So thank you, Steve. Appreciate it. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to Mari uh, Barry out at uh, M Barry Racing out in New York. Um, he also runs the Motec M400. Uh, he's been awesome at just helping me decipher the software, trying to figure out inputs, how things are linked, where things are set up. Um, so without him, I couldn't even figure out the, the, the Motec, uh, or it would have taken a lot more time. So thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, we're here at the lake. Beautiful day, seven degrees, two inches of fresh snow. Should make the sled run cool. Here's our view. All right, first run. Just gonna go out nice and easy. Hold the throttle in a couple different positions and then come back and get a day log. couple runs I'm pulling the second data log now I'm not real happy with the conditions I thought it'd be perfect but it is glare ice underneath there and I can't get any traction the data logs and look it looks like my cells in the 20% throttle range are super lean um, I might try to find some land but we'll go from here all right quick update I found some good snow on the north end of the lake uh, looks like it all most of it blew over there I was able to get uh, wide open throttle and heard some popping and burbling um, let off and now it's down on power. Just a quick check, it looks like I blew the boot off of the, or the air intake pipe off of the um, uh, supercharger. So I'm loaded up, I'm gonna head back home, take a look at that data log, at least I got a wide open throttle in, and those pops and burbles, I'm hoping they were rich spikes, And but we'll go from there. So back at it in a little bit. All right, just going over some of the data logs here back in the office. I actually blew the charge tube off the sled, uh, so I need to hook that back up, but no big deal. I'm looking, I got my first wide open throw pull up here. Uh, the red line is RPM. Uh, the uh, second green line, this one is uh, manifold pressure, or excuse me, uh, throttle position, and then the manifold pressure is the blue line that I care about, that's my boost. So remember, I had my turbo shut off. It looks like, you can see as I'm moving here, I'm going up wide open throttle, there's the, the green, the first green line, so it's 86, and then boom, 95, and then I let off, and I'm at 175 to 195 kPa, which is about 13 pounds, 12 to 13 pounds boost, which is perfect, because I'm not running any turbo yet. And all of a sudden, my my manifold pressure, look at the, the blue, just sort of, boop, it spiked to 256 uh, kPa. Right there, 255.9. And I think probably just, and I was off the throttle, so my throttle position's at 
and my RPMs were coming down. So I hit a peak RPM of 10,900, which is a little higher than I was expecting off of just um, supercharger. The Advance worked good. You can see the pink line on the bottom there. It uh, runs, you know, around 41 off the throttle, and then boom, drops instantly down uh, to 25, 23.5. So really safe timing. It's probably causing some burbling. Um, but uh, my Lambda, uh, th that looks pretty good. Like it was, it needed a lot of um, fuel added here. So this is a, a histogram. Chose from 4,000 to 7,000. When you're getting in the blue, um, green, light green, it's like, oop, you're getting a little lean. So this is 1.04 lambda. It's like 15 and a half or 16 to one up here. So I needed to add a lot of fuel still. I, I put 20% into it before this run and I'm still hanging up on here. But look at this, my wide open, looking pretty good. I got I got good, you know, up to 10,000. I am in the, right where I want to be in that 0.85 range. Um, but Again, I was expecting this to be 0.7 um, without the turbo. So I don't even have the turbo hooked up yet. Um, and you can see that on my uh, boost histograms here. Uh, there's this this solid, it's called the uh, in injector or auxiliary seven duty cycle, zero. It's, it, it's never kicked on. It just was blowing boost out of the wastegate the whole time. So what we're seeing is these surges is just from the supercharger and if I have a problem with making too much boost in my wastegate not being big enough, so it, I might have had some boost creep, or my blow off valve might not be big enough and, it, and, it, and it's not exhausting enough boost quickly enough. So um, uh, those are two things I was concerned about. I don't know if that's a real thing yet. Um, I need more data logs, but unfortunately that charge tube popped off, otherwise I would have had a couple more wide open throttle runs. But um. All right, back on the lake. Got the charge tube hooked back up. I actually drove over to the north side this time so I can run right down this road and I got good traction here. So I'm gonna try to go two quick data logs, check my fuel. I took out a fuel trim that was holding back fuel by 12%. Uh, I'm expecting pig rich now and that's what I want. And then we're gonna start turning up the turbo and seeing how it can, well it controls it. So here we go. charge tube from the supercharger to the intercooler um, just stripped out so I need to get a new one of those ordered um, couldn't build any boost after that it was looks like 4 psi or something on the last run um, but I did get the fuel figured out and I did get the um, hand warmer and grip warmer figured out they were uh, one was way too hot and one was not working at all got those resolved um, learned a lot about data logging looking at stuff so this was really helpful today and big thing I didn't blow it up.